Question A double I. Explain how these charges are induced. As we explained before, we can say that the positive charges on W attracts electrons as they have opposite charges. So electrons move to side X, leaving the positive protons behind at side Y. Another thing here we have to know from the mark scheme. The mark scheme awards three marks for this question. The first mark is for mentioning positive charges on W that attract the electrons. And this is what we exactly said. The mark scheme accepted to mention electrons or negative charges. He even accepted to say negative ions. But what is unaccepted here? What is between brackets? He says ignore references to positive charges. This will give you no marks. Why the examiner does not accept anything about positive charges? Because this is scientifically wrong. Let's see again what happened. When you approach the positive rod, electrons are attracted from the far side to the closer side by electrostatic attraction forces. As you see here, the only things that can move are the free-moving electrons. The positive charges, which are protons, cannot move. Protons are inside the nucleus, and the nucleus has a fixed position. When number of electrons becomes greater than normal, this region becomes negatively charged. When a region has a lack of electrons, this region becomes positively charged. Positive charges do not move. That's why any reference to the movement of positive charges will be ignored and sometimes it's considered unacceptable and may be penalized. The second mark is on saying electrons will move to side X. And this is exactly what we said. So electrons move to side X. The third mark is awarded for positive charges left behind, not saying that they will be repelled. And this is what we said here, leaving the positive protons behind. Remember, positive protons do not move. Only the negative electrons do.